Sean Cogle with DiscountJuicers.com to have another exciting episode for you. In this episode, I'm going to share with you guys how to make 100% banana ice cream. No cream involved, no milk involved. And actually, many people call it just an ice cream because it resembles ice cream and is the healthier version of ice cream. Um, many people may also call this a uh, fruit sorbet. And the amazing thing is when you have the Kuvings Revo 830, it includes the attachment to make the sorbets and ice creams out of frozen fruit. And it's so simple and so easy to use. Now before I share with you guys how to make the ice cream or the sorbet with the Kuvings Revo 830, I do want to announce that if you guys are interested in buying the Revo 830, you want to buy it now because this is one of the lowest prices they will have this year. For Mother's Day, for about the next, I don't know, 11 days or so, they're going to have the Kuvings Revo on a 15% off sale. So you guys could use the coupon code DJ15. We'll throw it up right there at KuvingsUSA.com. Link is right down below in the description. And you guys could get the Revo 830 for 15% off. So for those of you guys that are procrastinators <laughs> and the 15% off deal expires, Kuvings is now offering a 10% off coupon on the Revo 830. Once again, by using that link down below, cubingsusa.com in the description, and we'll throw up the coupon code using the coupon code DJ10 at cubingsusa.com. That'll give me 10% off, and that's a good chunk of change on the Revo 830 juicer. I really love the Revo 830 because it has the secondary feed shoot that makes juicing carrots and celery a breeze. Links down below to my original unboxing video of the Revo 830, so you guys could learn all about it. And when you guys use those coupon codes, not only do you guys save some money, but you also help me out a little bit because when you guys use those coupon codes, Kuvings will share with me a small commission so I can continue to make these educational videos for you guys, whether I'm sure you guys how to make something like sorbet, ice cream, or comparing two different juicers, or even just dropping my juicer and juicing knowledge bombs on you. So as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of juicing fruits. Link down below to my video on that. If you need to add some fruits to drink your vegetable juices, I think that's great. My goal for juicing is to get more vegetables in me, and I hope that is also why you juice also, to get more vegetables in you because most people don't eat enough vegetables. And fruits are so delicious on their own to just, you know, eat some bananas or some peaches or nectarines or eat some juicy fruit without having to juice it. That being said, if you need to add a little bit of fruit into your vegetable juices so that you will consume it, I think that's great, but I don't recommend the overconsumption of fruit juices. That being said, if you did want to use the fruit in the juicer, this is the method I would recommend you guys use. I would recommend buying the fruit when it's as ripe as possible and then freezing yourself. And actually, that's what I've done right here. Actually, I've, I bought jackfruit and I potted it. And I freeze it, and I freeze it, freeze it under vacuum in these special vacuum bags. Link down below if I remember to the kit so you could vacuum pack your uh, fruit. When you vacuum pack your fruit, uh, because it's in an oxygen deprived environment, the, the fruit won't oxidize as quickly, and you could store it quite a long time. This is actually maybe only a month old, whereas these bananas, you can see the date on there. It's labeled 422. It's currently 423. I literally vacuum packed these bananas a year ago and put them in my freezer and they look pretty much the, like the day I put them in. You guys know if you just put them in a Ziploc bag, sealed it up with air in there, they would turn all brown, get all funky, get freezer burn. I mean, these look as good as I got them. If you guys don't want to buy and freeze your own fruit, which really isn't that hard and that's the way you're going to get the best deals and save the most money, you guys could buy pre-frozen fruit. I bought some organic uh, sweet dark cherries at Costco. Costco has some amazing deals on frozen fruit as well as places like Trader Joe's. Another one of my favorites is buying the frozen mangoes to process this very way. So I guess on with that let's go ahead and show you guys how to make this amazing sorbet. It's super simple. It's easier than juicing guys with your juicer. So the first step is you're gonna have to actually put in the sorbet screen and take out the juicing apparatus. So we're just gonna go ahead and Take the Revo apart, take the auger out, and then with the we're going to take the juicing screen and the wiping blade out, right? This comes out, and this piece goes in in its place. You're going to line up the red dot with the red dot there, put it in place. You're going to put the auger back into place, drop it in, 
Put your top housing on, line up the white dot with the red dot, and turn it to lock it in place. Turn it on, and now your machine is all set up and ready to make ice creams and sorbets. Now, before I start, I really want to encourage you guys, you know, if you guys are still buying pints of ice cream or half a gallon of ice cream, whatever size they sell them in these days, I implore you and recommend to you guys that you guys just use your juicer to process frozen fruit into quote-unquote ice cream or sorbet instead. Why? Because it's so much healthier. There is zero extra added sugar when you process frozen fruit in your sorbet. You're not adding cream. You're not adding sugar. You're not adding anything except the sweetness of the fruit. This is nature's goodness. Sugar with all the fiber, the vitamins, the mineral, those the polyphenols and other micronutrients that are wholly contained within fruit. And simply the juicer is just grinding it up into a nice like texture for you guys to enjoy. All right, so let's just get started, right? So first we're just gonna put a little, little bowl here under the spout and we're gonna process jackfruit. I don't know that I've ever even processed jackfruit and made sorbet out of it and we're doing 100% jackfruit. The cool thing is you can just drop it in this little spout here. No pre-cutting of the frozen fruit is necessary. Some juicers do require you to cut the fruit up into smaller pieces, not with the Kuvings Revo 830. You guys can see instantly we're getting some frozen jackfruit sorbet coming right out of the machine. That's completely amazing. All right, so that looks like it for the jackfruit sorbet. Check it out, guys. Totally amazing. Next up, we're going to go ahead and do the bananas. Once again, you don't have to do singular rest, singular fruits. You can mix them, so you can put a little bit of jackfruit, a little bit of banana, a little bit of cherry, a little bit of blueberries, strawberries. I encourage you guys always to add berries when you're making a frozen fruit sorbet. It's gonna make it a lot healthier, all right? So we're just gonna go ahead and turn that on, and we're just gonna drop the bananas right down that chute, and it's gonna chop the bananas up into little pieces and feed it through the juicer. Maybe we got a little bit of the Jackfruit sorbet coming out, and we'll switch it out once the bananas start coming out here. All right, now we got banana sorbet coming out of the Kuvings Revo 830. Look at that, banana sorbet, 100%, guys. I encourage you guys to eat more fruits and eat less processed sugars. Also, in different ice creams, they add monodiglycerides and all different kinds of artificial flavors and colors and additives not good for you guys you guys already own the juicer or will buy the juicer so use it for some other features so that you guys could also eat healthier and make a difference and change your life all right so a little bit more banana got lots of bananas in there coming out bananas is the favorite thing to do with most people because the thing is the bananas have a really nice texture when you process it in this way also it tastes most similar to ice cream if you're used to really eating ice cream and of course, bananas are one of the least expensive fruits to buy. If you guys go to the store and you find the bananas that are overripe, they're marked down, or in, maybe they put them in those little purple bags, you could get them for you know pennies on the dollar, literally. And then you freeze them. When they're ripe, they're super sweet. You put them through the machine. This is great on a hot summer day. We're, we're almost to summer now, guys. And this is one of my favorite things to make in the summer. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum seal this back up and put it back in the freezer. So I can, uh, you know, use it some more. But look at this, guys. This banana ice cream, completely amazing. All right, next up, we're going to do the cherries. Normally, I'd mix cherries with bananas, but I thought I'd do it separately today in the Revo. And once again, I just like to use that secondary feed chute to put them a, a little bit at a time into the Revo. Look at that, dropping them right in there. They're processing right up. Maybe we're going to go ahead and catch a bit more banana ice cream first. As you guys can see, the cherry sorbet is coming out of the machine, ground up into a nice fine texture that's going to have an amazing mouthfeel that I can't wait to try in just a few moments. Nothing added, no sweeteners added. It is sweet enough as it is. Of course, you guys could mix them up when you're putting them in to get a multi-recipe, but today I thought I'd do a separate to show you guys how each of these different ingredients work individually. As you guys can see, it's just working great. All right, so I think we're about all done on the cherry sorbet, and that's what it looks like. Once again, cherry, banana, <laughs> and the jackfruit, cherry, banana, jackfruit. This is gonna be amazing, guys. Now I get to taste test it. I wish you, you were here so I could share it with you guys. 
of course, we got to eat the banana first. And actually, these are special kind of baby bananas. I find that they're a little bit sweeter than just the standard Cavendish bananas. Oh my gosh, look at that texture, guys. This is so thick, the spoon stands up. <laughs> That's the amazing texture. You could scoop this, you know, add it to somebody's cake. I mean, if you're having a kid's birthday party, this would be excellent to make. One time, I actually I took the juicer to a park, and um, I plugged it in at the park and made frozen banana sorbet for, for all the kids <laughs> instead of bringing ice cream. Mm-mm. This stuff is nice and cold, really nice mouth texture. Look at that. It's not even melting yet. Nice and solid. This is why I like using a juicer instead of another appliance. I mean, you could surely do a similar process to, like this in a blender or a, or a food processor. The challenge is that whips it up too much and will cause it to melt faster and it will be a more of a watery texture. This keeps it the most firm, most hard packed texture that is the least likely to melt on you and uh, give you a better mouthfeel because it's just more dense and cold. Mm. Bananas are so good this way. Next up, the frozen jackfruit sorbet. I've never made this before, guys, so it'll be interesting to see what it tastes like. Wow. Oh, my gosh. This, is, this stuff's insane. Most of you guys don't know what jackfruit tastes like, but if you ever had juicy fruit gum when you are a child, that's where it got the flavor from juicy fruit gum. So imagine eating an ice cream 100% that tastes like juicy fruit gum every single bite. Mmm. Now I will say there's still a little bit of texture. It didn't like cream it up as well as the bananas due to some of the fibers in the jackfruit. But nonetheless, the flavor of this stuff completely amazing. I saw it earlier this year, Costco was selling some frozen jackfruit, and maybe sometimes you might be able to find it at like a Whole Foods or something like that, if you guys want to try it. So good. All right, last up, the frozen cherry sorbet. Of all these three, I'm gonna have to tell you guys honestly that if you guys want to make something super healthy, it's the cherry sorbet. Why? Cherries have anthocyanin pigments in there, and they're generally a little bit less sweet than bananas or jackfruit. Of course, if cherries are too hardcore for you, then, you know, mix one-to-one -one cherries with bananas and then, you know, get the best of both worlds. We're going to try 100% cherry sorbet made in the Kuvings Revo. Wow. I love that. This is so amazing. Like, it's just such a strong cherry flavor. Unfortunately, cherries are not in season all that often, so, you know, you pretty much all year, though, you could get frozen cherries to make something like this. It's super cold, nice and flavorful, mild sweetness, guys, mild sweetness on this. The other cool thing is once you guys make this, you can use it in other recipes. Imagine making a root beer float, not that I recommend drinking root beer, but if you had root beer or some kind of kombucha, you could take a scoop of this and make a float with it and put this into the kombucha, right? Maybe you got homemade kombucha, right? That'd be amazing. Or if you're still drinking soda, at least this is going to make the soda a little bit better. I don't recommend drinking soda. You could carbonate some sugar cane juice and then put it in, put, put a little scoop of this in there. That'll make it amazing. You could add this. You could freeze this in little ice cubes and then add it to like water to drink later. To give you some nice flavoring of your water, um, you could put this along, you could dip in like different cookies or crackers, you could put this and eat it next to cakes. I mean, this is just the healthiest way to get some kind of frozen dessert that you guys could make with the Kuvings Revo 830. So if you guys are interested in buying that Kuvings Revo 830, once again, limited time only, use that coupon code DJ15, throw it up right there at CubingsUSA.com to save 15% off just for a few more days. Of course, if you're a procrastinator, you can use the coupon code DJ10, throw it up right there to save 10% off on the Kuvings Revo 830 juicer at CubingsUSA.com.
If you guys enjoy this episode of learning how to make the frozen fruit sorbets with the Kuvings Revo 830, hey, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and more importantly, share this with other people that want to start eating healthier and getting the dairy out of their diets and instead eating more fresh fruits, one of the healthiest foods on the planet. And this is the way that I recommend you guys process fruits with the juicer, not to juice them, but to make 100% fruit sorbets that taste amazing, especially on a hot summer day. Also, be sure to click on the subscribe button right down below so you don't miss my new upcoming episodes of Coming Out Every 5 to 7 Days, even though I'll show up, or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel, or what new juicers I'll be comparing against each other. Make sure you click the little bell to get notified as my new videos come out. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. The past episodes are a wealth and large. Over 600 episodes at this time on this channel dedicated to teach you guys all about the different juicers and comparing and contrasting them so that you guys buy the right juicer for you. I'll put a link down below to some of the videos I've made with the Kuvings Revo 830 in the past so you guys can see the full range of features that you can do with it. So with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors. Thank <laughs> you.